Part 2. Crimson Flower. Ethereal Moon. Beyond Escape. It is Imperial Year 1185. Half a decade has passed since Emperor Edelgard ascended the Imperial throne. Yet the continent of Fodlan still remains lost in a tempest of turmoil and bloodshed. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, King Dimitri has welcomed Archbishop Rhea and her knights, who were driven out of Garagmach to the kingdom capital. As they work to build a unified front, the war with the Empire rages on to the west. Meanwhile, Claude, leader of the Alliance, staves off Imperial intervention by strategically stirring up conflicts between Leicester lords in an effort to feign neutrality. As events unfold, Edelgard and her Black Eagle strike force begin to take action in an attempt to break the war's current state of deadlock. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? How dare you? Get on your feet. Right now! I'll coddle you no more! You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Regardless, the Imperial Army has taken over now. Um, are you feeling alright? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the Ethereal Moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing and all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? The Imperial Army is there! Come on, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you, got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. <laughs> Students! You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. Five years ago to the day. If things had continued on as they were, today would have been the Millennium Festival. Halt! Who's there? It can't be! Professor? Is it really you? But I searched everywhere and never found a trace. My teacher. What have you been doing all this time? Where have you been? Joking? At a time like this? You do realize it's been five years since you disappeared. Do you have any idea how guilty I felt? How broken my heart was? I searched high and low after you vanished. 
Although there was no proof, I somehow knew you were alive. All this time, I led everyone as best I could, and fought with all my heart. It's been a difficult path to walk alone. Ugh. Welcome back, my teacher. I'm so happy that you're safe. Five years. Such a short time, but it feels like an eternity ago. Do you still feel the way you did all those years ago? You said then that you would fight at my side no matter how many enemies we should amass. As for me, my resolve has not faltered. I'm determined as ever to see this through to the end. I will defeat the False Goddess. I will save this world from those creatures and give humanity its freedom back. So, my teacher, are you prepared to stand with me? I... I thank you. Truly. Now then, I assume you understand the situation at hand, yes? Another joke? Or... are you telling the truth? I suppose you must be. In that case, I'll tell you all that has transpired as you slumbered these past five years. And that is where we are now. The war is at a stalemate. Dimitri is the new king of Fargus. It's clear that his territory will continue to support the church. Meanwhile, Claude's leadership has thrown the Alliance into chaos. He maintains neutrality in their internal conflict. The situation has created a deadlock. We've been awaiting an opportunity for our squadron to return to the monastery. With you in the fray, I believe the state of the war will shift immediately. The Church, as well as the Kingdom and the Alliance. The time has come to eliminate them all. Although we were of different houses, we were companions who lived and learned together. Some of our ranks are hesitant to battle against them. However, knowing that you're alive is sure to raise their spirits. Good. Well then, I believe it's time for a little reunion. The Black Eagle Strike Force never lost faith. They knew you were alive and have been awaiting your return. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. Well now, that face is certainly familiar. I am glad to see you alive and well, Professor. Professor! It's me, Bernie! Do you remember me? I can't believe you're here! I can't believe it! Is this a dream? Can we really be this lucky? This is not dreaming. Our Professor is with us again. Welcome to the back! I mean, welcome back! Our group isn't the same without you. I am overjoyed to see you again. It's been so long. Seeing you again fills my heart with hope. Great. Now everything will be easy. Um, that's great you're safe, Professor. I'm deeply, deeply moved. Quite the reunion, isn't it, Professor? Everyone's happy to see you. Come on, Edelgard. You must be happier than all of us combined. She took it really hard when you disappeared, Professor. Of course, we did our very best in your absence, and there was never a day that we doubted you would return to us. Edelgard has been leading us as Emperor, but after you disappeared, it became apparent that you were her anchor. It gives me regret to be admitting this, but our power is not enough. The only one who can be meeting Edelgard's expectations is you, Professor. Most impressive of all is your uncanny ability to bring a smile to everyone's face. In the years since you vanished, we have not lost anyone from our ranks. We all longed for your presence and your leadership, myself included. It seems fitting to view this as a new beginning for the Black Eagle Strike Force. We already have our target. Yes, we must eliminate the Alliance before moving on to fight the Kingdom and the Church. However, that doesn't necessarily mean we must occupy the entirety of the Alliance. House Regan stands against the Empire. Therefore, our target is Deirdre, the aquatic capital. We must cross the Aramid River, which separates the Empire and the Alliance. 
To do that, we must take the largest bridge across it. The Great Bridge of Murden. Murden connects the monastery and the imperial capital to the east. It is the shortest route there. An alliance stronghold has been built at the Great Bridge. We'll take that and then head north. At the same time, we must defeat the one who defends it, Judith von Daphne. If we can also take control of Daphne territory, it would be greatly beneficial to us. Prepare yourselves. The next battle will be a momentous one. Join me, my friends, as we begin our journey to bring peace and solace to this war-ravaged world. The newly crowned king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Dimitri, has declared fealty to the Church of Seros and is raising an army in preparation for all-out war with the Empire. As leader of the Alliance, Claude maintains a facade of neutrality amidst infighting between those who support and those who oppose the Empire. Meanwhile, the Black Eagle Strike Force plans to capture Alliance territory before Edelgard takes the war to the Kingdom and the Church of Seros. With sights set on capturing Deirdre at the center of House Regan's territory, she leads a march across the Great Bridge of Murden to establish a bridgehead. We're about to commence our attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. But first, allow me a moment of your time. It is something that I can only ask of you. Listen well. It concerns Lady Edelgard's uncle, the Regent of the Empire, Lord Arundel. Although he is currently cooperating with Her Majesty, he maintains his own sizable military troops. It seems to me that his plans differ from our own. I assume you recall a certain group scheming from five years ago? Solon and Kranya. They both served Lord Arundel. <laughs> Professor, I understand how you must be feeling, considering what they did to your father. I know it must be foul to even consider cooperating with their kind. However, their power is essential for us at present. Edelgard also strongly opposed the idea at first. Our enemy is the Church of Seros itself. It cannot be toppled with the Empire's might alone. Those working under Lord Arundel are extremely hostile toward the Church. And the enemy of our enemy is... Well, I think you sufficiently understand by now. Until all of Fodlan is united, it is a necessary evil. As for how we deal with him afterward, time will tell. Regardless, Her Majesty and I wish to join our power with yours. You should know that in her heart, Her Majesty regards that group as enemies of herself and her family. They used her father, the former Emperor, as a puppet, and murdered her siblings with their vile experimentation. I believe Her Majesty may have told you some of this herself. 
That is why this was a very painful decision for her to make. I will do all I can to ensure her suffering is not in vain. And I hope I can count on you to do the same. As for all I have told you, please keep it in mind as we march forward. More importantly, I implore you to fight as best you can for Edelgard. From the bottom of my heart, I beg this of you. We'll be capturing the Great Bridge of Murden, a key strategic location of the Leicester Alliance. Claude will surely be sending reinforcements, so we must prevail before they arrive. Our opponent is Judith, the so-called hero of Daphnel. We can handle her, so long as we don't get careless. The boy said to run if I was in danger, but... I could never do that. I'll hold out until reinforcements arrive. I will prevail. Ready for anything. More fighting. Understood. Put me in there. No stopping me. One of us had to die. What's my strategy? Outcome. 
I'll cut a bloody path. I'm awake. I do this for all of us. Another victory. Live and fight. Taking life doesn't phase me. Her will demands it. Not my goal but a means to an end. I think... A waste of time. Pull back yet. A 
attack at your own risk. Today I was lucky. Time for pity. This is the cost of war. Judith, I'm so glad you're safe. Claude sent me here with reinforcements. Why do I have to put up with orders from that false leader? Because you're from the smallest noble house in all the Alliance, you whiner. Enemy reinforcements. We didn't finish in time. Don't let them secure the ballista. Hardly worth the effort.
think I'm improving. Put me in there. Captain Gerald's enemies, and I will avenge him here. I am helping Claude build the future of Fodlin. I can do this. Don't blame yourself. strategy. Ready for anything. You're all Captain Gerald's enemies, and I will avenge him here. I'll use this power for the greater good. Watch and run. Here is something to believe in. I must lead them well. My apologies. More fighting. <laughs> Winning is what matters. I will prevail.
Judith, I'm sorry. I'll leave the rest to you. Leone, you had such a full life ahead of you. I wish I could take your place. There's no reason I should die in this place. It's time for me to return home. Understood. Child's play. I will see this war through. that one. For the Empire. I do this for all of us. A great... I am helping Claude build the future of Fodlin. I should have known this would happen. Ignatz, damn it! Such a good kid. He died too young. There's no stopping me. I'm awake. I'm sorry. I couldn't defend the bridge. All who are able, retreat! Don't let her escape. If we can take her out now, the Daphnil territory will be ours. That will allow us to march safely through the Alliance. Everyone's equal in battle. Ah! <sighs> it looks like I'm done for. Claude, I'm sorry.
not my best. Alliance soldiers! Judith has fallen. Further conflict is futile. If you surrender, your lives will be spared. Lay down your weapons immediately. You have all fought well. With this victory, we now have a foothold in the Alliance. The Imperial Army will cross the Aramid River and push the front lines forward. The fight will continue, but do not allow that to stop you from taking pride in our hard-won victory. Ah, this should put a stop to one of Edelgard's choice phrases. Well done, Professor. I believe it was, if only the Professor were here, we could forge ahead and change the tides of this war. Ferdinand, it is not necessary to tell the Professor such things. We're not the only ones benefiting. The whole Imperial Army is stronger now. Yes, it seems the Empire finally has both of its legs to stand on. Don't you agree? You make it sound as though I can't run the Empire on my own. Perhaps it's more apt to say that the Pegasus has recovered its horn. Judith of Daphne. What a magnificent warrior. I'm happy to have the Professor back just like old times, but... I don't think I'll ever get used to this cruel exchange of lives. When there is something you must not be conceding, you must keep fighting. The fighting has been continuing for five years, but now I am again witnessing the Professor's power. I hate fighting, but with the Professor here, maybe it's slightly less terrible? Oh, but everyone is working so hard! Stop it, Bernie, you can't be the only one complaining! I'm glad to see everyone so inspired. It seems the reappearance of the Professor has done much to raise your morale. Do you not feel the same, Hubert? Come now, be honest with yourself. Now, we must take advantage of the situation and blaze ahead. Our path is still a long one. 